buildup in my left ear, and is there a way, or is there anything from a supplement or a diet standpoint that may help the fluid drain from my eustachian tube so I can determine if this fluid buildup is exacerbating my tinnitus, which has been a little bit louder than usual. Okay. Here's the deal. Now, a couple things. When you say you had your ears clean, you mean, you mean the ear canal, not, not the... They, they clean it with like a Q-tip kind of thing. Is that what you're talking about? No, they, I think they clean the ear canal just because wax build up over okay. time. Okay, and, so, that, uh, so what they, you're they're, talking they're going those to are three. two different issues, Rick. The ear canal is not related to the fluid buildup. Fluid buildup is behind, as you said, behind the eardrum. You have a tube that runs into that area. It's called your eustachian tube. And that eustachian tube uh, is where pressure is sent. The body, the, that whole inner ear area is very complicated, and it works uh, via air and fluids that fill up and, and are controlled controlled via valves in that tube, the eustachian tube, and when you have inflammation in that area, it can throw things off. Everything you're saying from the cough to the post-nasal drip to the fluid buildup to the tinnitus, everything you're saying is screaming immune system. It's screaming inflammation. It's screaming something is getting into your body that's causing leakage. Let me explain how this whole leakage thing is related to the immune system. You have a circulatory system, your blood, and you have fluids, and you have lymph, and all of that is kept in a tube. Okay, the tube could be your lymph tube, it could be your blood vessel tubes, it could be the eustachian tube in the ear. So the fluids are always flowing through tubes. Does that make sense so far? Yes. Okay. When you have an immune reaction, that is when the body is defending itself, the army, your body's army, your defense system, is called white blood cells. The white blood cells are the army. And they live in these tubes whether it's the lymph tube or whether it's the blood tube, they live, they live in these fluid tubes. And when you have something that gets into the body and the body says, oh, my God, there's an enemy in the body. We've got to mobilize the army. We've got to release the soldiers. The tubes will all begin to open and the fluids will leak out. Does that make sense? Mm. Okay, let me, let me explain. It's very important. I want this to make sense, okay? The army is the white blood cells. Okay, that, that makes sense, right? The army, the soldiers, are the white blood cells. They're the ones that are going to attack the enemy, whether the enemy is a, a food you shouldn't have eaten or the enemy is a bacteria or the virus or a pollen or something that gotten in the system. The body fights these things with what are called white blood cells, and the white blood cells can be thought of as soldiers of the army. Are we, are we good? Yeah. I, need, I want this to make perfect sense at every step of the way, so I'm going to go over it, I'm going to go over it in as small, as small steps as possible. So uh, stuff gets into the body. The body says, enemy in the body. We've got to get the army out. We've got to get the soldiers out. The soldiers are the white blood cells. So we're so far so good? You've got to help me here, Rick. You've got to say yes or no. Yeah, I'm saying yes. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Got it. Okay, now how does the army get out of the blood vessels and the lymph vessels? The lymph vessels and the blood vessels open up. They open up and they start to develop openings like pores, little, little circles, and the army starts to leak out. And along with that leakage out of the vessels, the blood vessels and the, and the lymph vessels, you get fluids. So as the white blood cells are leaking out of these fluids, uh, out of these uh, the tubes, the fluids are following. And now you have white blood cells and you have fluids in areas there shouldn't have fluids. And this is all in response to something that's getting into the system. The system basically becomes leaky in an attempt to get to the area to attack and prevent the area from doing damage or for the invader from doing damage. This leakage, what you're experiencing as coughing and as fluid buildup and as blockages and even as tinnitus is a result of leakage into the eustachian tube, into the ear area, the inner ear area, even into the respiratory tract because you're coughing, of leakage secondary to the body attempting to fight something off. The body is attempting to fight something off. This gets back to the idea that we were talking about earlier. Nothing goes wrong in the body unless something gets in that shouldn't be in. I don't know how much simpler I could be. You know, uh, your, your inner ear uh, problems, your eustachian tube problems, your tinnitus is arthritis of the ears. It's osteoporosis of the ears. Your problem is exactly the same problem as any other inflammatory issue, except yours is happening inside your respiratory tract and in your sinuses. But it's the same problem. You understand? It's not. It's a different flavor, but it's the same food. It's the same problem. It's immune activation and inflammation. When you have immune activation and inflammation, whether it shows up as an inflamed joint or whether it shows up as inflammation in the inner ear or whether it shows up as inflammation in the respiratory tract, something has gotten into your body that shouldn't be there. Now, where could that be from? By the way, does that make sense so far? Can I jump in and mention a couple things? Well, at first time, if that makes sense. Something has gotten into your body that shouldn't. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay. What were you going to say? 
Well, I, I wanted to add one thing. Um, sure. I don't know if it, it, it relates to this. I, I'd been under uh, chronic, what I call chronic stress, uh, for several years. Yeah. Uh, and it peaked to, uh, you know, in early 2011 to a point where I was, you know, virtually bedridden. At, you know, for several, I'd have to go to bed several times a day because okay. I felt so bad. I've, I've rebounded and I feel much better today. Well, that certainly didn't help. Again. But that didn't yeah. help. But that's not causative. That's not causative. It's not helping. That may be a exacerbate the situation, but it's not causative. That's not going to trigger an immune response. It may make an immune response more uh, more prolonged. It may slow down the healing process, and it probably does, but it isn't causative. I'd be looking at something that's getting into your system that shouldn't be. Now, I'll tell you this. It's very unlikely that you don't have something going on in the digestive tract, like some kind of uh, symptom, heartburn, bloating, gas, cramping, diarrhea, constipation. You may not know it. As we said many times in this program, the brain doesn't always notice these things if they happen all the time. But it's very unlikely for you to have this kind of significant issue, this prolonged significant issue, without having something that you're noticing in the digestive tract. Now, it's in your interest to find it, because then you'll, it's much easier for you to start to eliminate things. It, pretty much the only place something is going to get into your system is going to be through foods, although occasionally you could have some kind of a seasonal allergy type of thing, uh, especially if you're dealing with an inner ear or respiratory problem. Obviously, you're breathing stuff in, into your head and into your sinuses. So a couple of things for you. Number one, by, please focus. Focus on the digestive system. Focus on foods. Focus on problem foods. Focus on digestive symptoms and link them to potential foods. We spent a couple of weeks, we spent almost two weeks, a month or so ago, talking about lectins. Hang tight, Rick. we got to take a break. I want to finish this up when we come back. If you're on hold, stay there. We'll try to get to all your calls today. 855-660-4261 is our number on Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side, and we'll be back after this. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 
It's hard to imagine when things are going reasonably well, just how quickly things can change. But what would it take? Economic collapse, massive crop failure, chemical or biological attack. So many situations could find you in the grocery looking to pick up food for your family only to find that the shelves are empty. There's nothing. Don't let that happen. Act today to make sure that if it ever comes to that, you and your family will be provided for. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com to look at the wide variety of survival foods available. Freeze-dried foods from the Freeze-Dry Guy store longer, rehydrate faster, are nutritionally superior to, and taste better than any other long-term storage food available. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com or call toll-free 866 404 FreezeDryGuy.com The nation's largest independently owned and operated talk radio network. The Genesis Communications Network. GCN. All right, we're back on the bright side talking to Ricky in Illinois at 855-660-4261. Ricky, you there, bro? Yes, I am. Okay. So everything you're saying, whenever I hear fluid buildup anywhere, fluids, I'm thinking the immune system. As I explained before, blood vessels and lymphatic vessels that are supposed to keep keep fluids flowing in a, in, in, within pipes, if you will. The circulatory system's like tiny little pipes and fluids flow in there. When the body needs to attack something, it'll op- open up or expand those pipes and pores. Little openings will form in those pipes and fluids will leak out. The reason fluids leak out, this is why we become inflamed, really. This is why we be- this is how rosacea, for example, that's a classic example of this vasodilation secondary to some kind of attack on the body. What you're experiencing, by the way, is rosacea of the ears, rosacea of the inner ear, rosacea of the eustachian tube. It involves fluid buildup. It involves expansion of vessels, all secondary to something getting into the system. It is so important, Rick, for you to see if you can link up specific foods to digestive system symptoms. That is heartburn, bloating, gas, diarrhea, constipation, loose stools, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, if you can't find any digestive symptoms, and keep in mind, it's in your interest to find them. It's much easier to eliminate problem foods if you can link them to digestive symptoms. If you can't, then link them to your inner ear symptoms. Link them to the fluid buildup. Link them to the, to the uh, uh, blockages, the sensation of blockages. Link them to the coughs. Link them to the tinnitus. Tinnitus is it's all the same idea, and you're very, you're very attuned to notice that your tinnitus has gotten worse as the inner ear has become more leaky and inflamed. So number one, focus on problem foods, things that are getting into the system that shouldn't be. And then number two, start to strengthen and build up the, immune, uh, the digestive system. We'll talk about the immune system here in a minute. You want to strengthen and build up the digestive system. Probiotics are your best friend. I would be getting the best probiotic supplement I could find. I'd be getting it today. Call 866-735-2470. Tell them you want the nightly essence and start to take 80 billion units a day. If you don't want the nightly essence, find one you like, but take 80 billion units a day. Uh, start eating fermented foods, uh, sauerkraut, miso, tempeh, kefir. Anything fermented is going to be in your digestive tract interest. Secondly, get yourself on glutamine powder. Wonderful for the digestive system. Uh, glutamine is like uh, it's like fuel or it provides fuel. It gets turned into fuel for the cells that line the intestine, that line the intestine for digestive tract cells, supposed uh, so-called enterocytes. Glutamine is fuel for your enterocytes, for your intestinal cells. I'd be doing five grams or a teaspoon of glutamine powder every day. Get on the Z-radical. The Z-radical can protect yourself, uh, can protect your digestive system from lectins, which we talked about a couple of months ago, of how lectins are involved in damaging the food, the food system, the uh, digestive system. Gluten is a classic example of a lectin, and gluten intolerance is a lectin intolerance disease. So the Z-radical may help you. I'd be using the digestive enzymes, which can have a double effect. Number one, obviously, they can help you with the digestive system. Number two, they can help you with any kind of inflammation that's going on. It sounds like there's some inflammation in the inner ear. Uh, You want to take the digestive enzymes on an empty stomach in order to exploit their anti-inflammatory effects. And then you want to take the digestive enzymes with food if you want to take advantage of their digestive support effects. 
You want to use apple cider vinegar after meals. It wouldn't hurt you to take a little bit of lecithin with fatty foods. And then for directly supporting the immune system, there's wonderful nutritional supplements. Probably vitamin C is the most important. I'd be using high doses of vitamin C. One of the neat things about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is that you get a high dose of vitamin C, 1,000 milligrams in two scoops, but you also get it with vitamin A and the B complex and other nutrients that can help support health and support the immune system. Uh, so I would be using the BTT, or if you want to just use 